And, and look here. here. The hell with the prop bets because we There he is. Max no more prop Crosby. bets for now. We can't shake his What's right up? hand. Oh, we up, can't man? shake his right oh, hand. Nice How are you? Yep. Oh, good. How are you? Good. Careful. Good, good to see you. Max Crosby, you, Raiders defensive end. Good Welcome. to see you. Absolutely, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys having me on. Incredible year. Good year. I want to like. I want to. Me- I was told him I wanted to mess with you, right? He. I, mean, he, I want to. I wanted to come out and just go. Hey, what's up, little boy? Hey, little boy. <laughs> Get up, little boy. Yeah. Nice to see you, little boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, was afraid you might whoop my ass, yeah. but I, I hope mean, you right do. now is your best bet because I'm all. I, you know, You're I got one a few arm. Surgery, so yeah. But it's funny, man. I got a bone to pick with you too. I know you always give me give the Raiders a hard time. So oh, Ooh, go, yeah. go. Let's you do it. You always give my Raiders Let's a hard time. I, I mean, you got to put some respect on us oh, a little bit. I, I, a little bit. You know, I, it's all love at the end of the day. I but know. I mean, you get you got to show the Raiders a little bit more respect. I, I'm 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 actually surprised you're here. Uh, you're saying that. I feel like somebody he sh- talks shit about the Raiders all yeah. the time. Don't let me lie to I, you. No, I already know. And and I, and do I love not. it. I'm not calling you out. No. I'm just I'm hey, just being you're real. You're calling me out. Just a little bit. It's okay. It's all good. I respect it. You know. I wonder what. I said though that like because I'm a fan of your coaches, right? I'm, I mean, so um, where did, where did I go wrong? No, like, let I me mean, know the one thing that is popping in your there was, brain. There's a couple things that yeah. trigger me. I know there's times you talked about our defense early on. You're like, you know, they don't, they don't really have, you know. I said a you're guy the only blue deep. chip guy. I yeah, think. I'm right. like, I, I got a lot of great teammates. You know, Jack Jones, yeah. the Robert Spillanes. Right. You know, we got a lot of guys, and I feel like as the season went on, people got to really see that. So. Yeah. You know, for me, I'm always be protective of my my no, guys no. at the Raiders. You're totally so. cool with that. Yeah, no, I actually I appreciate really it. appreciate you coming in and coming laying down the law like oh, yeah, that. Yeah, always, I man. I gotta 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 represent the shield. All right. Doubt. So, all right. Now that you got me all flum- flummoxed and, and nervous <laughs> over here, okay? I love it. All right, you <laughs> jerk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? Tell me about your little boy thing though, because I was telling him a little bit before you came on air, right? I saw you with the, I think it was the the Colts game with Gardner Minshew. Yeah, yeah. And is this a normal thing you break out, or do you just break it out tactically every now and then um you know it's funny like in practice like it's something i always do like if you talk to brian hoyer or like jimmy g or any of the guys <laughs> right. like Derek cars any of the dudes that have been quarterback <laughs> with me like that's something i always do and it's not just quarterbacks like it's running backs linemen whoever it is like right. i'm always trying to find an advantage and, and get in people's heads so for me i'm usually not the one that starts it but like if there's something that like triggers me a little bit i'm yeah. like i'm going all the way yeah so like i don't want i wouldn't say i want to i don't want to get there but like once I start, like, there's no stopping. And with Minshew, it was the same thing. And people don't even realize they finally, like, showed what happened. Right. And I knocked him down. I tried to help him up. And he, like, pulled he his pulled hand away. He pulled away. He didn't want to And do I'm that. like, all right, bet. So yeah. I was on him the whole game. So that triggered you. Immediately. Like, I was like, the that's hell all I you. needed. <laughs> yeah, that's all I needed. So that's kind of usually how it goes. Now. You're a psycho. You know a little that? bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 100%. Okay. <laughs> you played the whole year with a knee injury, too. How hard was it to answer the bell each and every week to keep going and going and going until the end of the season? Um, I think the hardest thing was just like the mental side of it because I'm so routine oriented every single day I do I have my day planned out I know exactly what time I'm eating rehabbing everything like that so I'm a guy that never misses practice like my whole year like I've never missed a game you don't miss a play I I don't miss play yeah yeah. like I'm always out there so having to like be limited in practice and get three reps instead of you know eight right and then kind of going through that and then doing a lot more work in the weight room away from the team like that was a that was the biggest challenge for me was just the mental part. But like, I have great guys, you know, the Rick Slates, the guys in our training, you know, training staff that have helped me. Like, they made it a lot easier. Just listen, this is what we're gonna do. Buy yeah. in, and you're gonna be just fine. So I really had to just trust my foundation and trust the work and people around me. How, how do you find that blend, right? Because uh, I your your stamina is incredible, but yet you need to be explosive, right? Yep. And also like. Uh, you're, you're not like you're naturally a big guy. You're not super jacked, and yeah. I'm not trying to say that no, to be like you know what I mean. No, like you don't good. have biceps or triceps, yeah. but I know you're strong as hell. I watch you on film every yeah. week, yeah. right? So how do you find that balance of like being strong as hell, pliable, and explosive, and, and kind of and work that? Yeah, it really comes down to the, the everyday everyday process. Like I train basically all year round, and like we play Denver week 18. Next day, I'm rehabbing, still on meal prep. That hasn't stopped. Like, all year round, I'm dialed in, 365. So, you know, you see a lot of guys. There's a lot of dudes that look like Goliath exactly, and right. stiff as a board and right. can't go rush or bend. Or, you know what I mean? So, for me, it's about how can I be the best player on a, day, on, a on a play-to-play basis. And, like, that's how I feel like I separate myself. Because when I first came to the league, they're like, oh, he's a skinny white dude. All I can do is pass right. rush. And I was like, all right, watch what I can do. I know I can play the run. And now... I'm one of the best run defenders as well. So it's like I want to be the best on at everything I do, and it requires 365, 
all, all, all year so round. So it's a work. conscious effort to stay pliable and not be totally jacked and too tight and all that. 100%. Yeah. Like, I mean, a look is one thing. Like, I have Serbian roots. Like, Luka Doncic, you would look at him and be like, oh, he's not the strongest guy, but he's bullying people out there. Definitely. So, right. you know, we have similar roots to the Jokic's Serbian. Yeah. I mean, right. it's my mom. Is, they're all Serbian. Yeah, so Eastern European. Eastern European. Right. Like, we're not the most shredded to the right. core. Just but like big dudes. Yeah, but if, you know, you talk to the old linemen and stuff that play, the, you know, I'm just as quick as strong. So I try yeah. to be all those in one. Yeah. At what sure. point in your life did the light go off that I can do this, that I'm going to be special as an athlete? Um, honestly, the confidence started – my uh, redshirt year in college, um, I had never played DN until my senior year of high school, so that's why I didn't have a bunch of offers. I had no film going into my last year, and I went to a camp at Eastern, and they were like the worst team in D1 at the time, and I just wanted a D1 offer. That's yeah. all, all that mattered. Right. So they offered me before I even played the position, right. and um, I went there. I was like, I'm trying to play right away. I was like 200 10, two, like 212 pounds <laughs> when I got to Eastern. Little boy. I was, I was a little boy then. <laughs> um, but at the same time, like, can't measure heart. Like I went into re into those red shirt that red shirt year, and just went on scout team and just tried to wreck the practice every right. single day. Right. And I was traveling. You know, the scout team player of the week travels every week. I won like literally every week. Oh, uh, that's cool. So that was like that's where the confidence started. I'm going against Andrew Wiley. Ironically, ends up being the chief starting right tackle. So we're playing each other in the league, and I've been going against this guy in, in when I first started playing the position. So um, it really started there, um, and I think that was the biggest year of my career, like really learning how to play the position. It, you, it, go ahead. Got you it. were very vocal about Antonio Pierce becoming the head coach of the team to the point where you kind of suggested if it doesn't work out that way, you may have to make some decisions about your own career. We, How close we were rooting for it, too, yeah. just so you know. And we so ran, in, we ran into him. I wasn't going to drop him. We ran into him the other night. We were hanging out with him and talking to him. So we, we know him. Yeah. Um, did you get the feeling it was kind of it could go either way? I mean, did you think that I better say something now if I don't? They're not going to realize they need piece. to keep this guy yeah. the, as the head coach? Yeah, um, honestly, you know, there's obviously a lot of stuff that people don't know behind the scenes. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's we went through the situation before. Um, you know, I, a lot of guys spoke up, not just myself, but Derek, a lot of guys, and then we went a different direction. And, um, you know, it, it happened. It's in the past. It's over with. But, I mean, we started from scratch again, and we set ourselves back. And, um you know, for me as a player, like I want to, like I'm going to my sixth year already. Like it flies by. It does. And man. you know, I'm. I know for myself, like my messaging wasn't like screw the Raiders. I'm want to leave. Like I want to be here. Everyone knows that. Right. I have the Raiders shield tag. You're a Raider. Like, You're I'm a, a Raider to the day I die. Yeah, no you question. Are. But I just want everybody in the building to be thinking the same way. Like every year, I show the guys. I show up. I'm there 6 a.m. in the off season when nobody's in the building. I want everyone thinking like that from the front office to the janitor. I don't care who it is. We want to win and be a Super Bowl team. Like I want everyone thinking like that. How can I get better every single day? So that's how I carry myself, and that's kind of what my message was. Like if we're not trying to win, like right. if we're going to start from scratch again, like that means all my D linemen are gone again. It's happened a bunch of times. <laughs> the whole defense, new coaches, everything, and like then I got to you know it's not like it's a liability. I love being a leader and doing what I do, but it's like. I don't want to start from scratch again and then, okay, you what if continuity. it doesn't work? Then all yeah. of a sudden I'm in year eight and nine right. and it's like, what are we doing? So yeah. for me, it's like AP gave us a great chance to win. We're competitive in every single game. Let's add some more weapons on top of what we already started and yeah. let's see what happens. Yeah, I hear That's that. That's really all it was for me. All of our guests this week have a sponsor. I assumed you were here on behalf of a cigar he manufacturer. No, no cigars. It's Invisalign. I don't have Which a cigar. Which I want to know. Like, what do you got in those cigars? You got some no. of the good stuff in there? No, I just want to know. All. Okay. No, we're, right. we're strictly uh, Damn, drums. I liked you better <laughs> before then. <Yeah. laughs> well, no, we all can't. Right, so no, let's hear your pitch. I want to hear this. Yeah, Invisalign. Uh, I just got it. I got them in right now. Cool. Um, didn't grow up with braces, so um, you know, Invisalign came to me. They said, "Hey, listen, 400 other guys in the league have it, um, and we'd love to, you know, for you to be a part of the team." So they pitched it to me. I love it. They're the best of the best of the best. So I just I just started recently. So first couple of days were tough. I'm not gonna lie, but it's been incredible. Ever so since. Invisalign came to you and they're like, "Hey, your teeth are messed up. We'd like you to. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to help you." Out. <laughs> like, listen, you need to fix it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but it was my fun. teeth are messed up too on the bottom for sure. Yeah, I yeah. need it. All right, last thing because I know you got to go, but I got to ask you about. Your arch rival, the Chiefs, Mahomes. I yeah. know you hate them. You should hate them. Yeah. But, like, give us a, just a little look inside of what makes him and them such a great football team. Um, you know, they got championship DNA. Yeah. Um, you know, last time we played them, like, we, we you won. whooped their butt pretty good. We, yeah, we got after them. So yeah. just seeing how far, you know, how they're still able to 
continue to find ways to get better um, just shows when you have a guy like Andy Reid, a great head coach that doesn't panic when things go bad, right. a quarterback that thinks the same way, and then you got Travis Kelsey. I mean, when you got three guys, like core guys like that, and a Chris Jones and, and dudes like that, you can have struggles. There's going to be ups and downs, but they don't panic. They yeah. don't freak out. And right. that's like, you know, from my experience, it's like the best teams are all like even keeled, no matter win or loss. They're like, okay, we're going to bounce back. We're going to yeah. get better. And uh, that's what they do. You know, Mahomes is the best in the Except league. Except when you wake him up and he tells you, he said, you woke up the wrong <laughs> mother ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, how good did quarterbacks it feel, can though? talk a little bit, but they don't, they don't want that. How, how good did it feel to go into their building on Christmas Day and basically be the Grinch? Oh, it was, it was incredible. I mean, we, we smoked cigars after. We were in the locker room having fun. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's yeah. That's what being a Raider is. Yeah, it's no awesome, doubt. man. All right, the ultimate Raider, Raider for life, and definitely sticking around in Las Vegas for a while. Charging Max Crosby. me up. Awesome. On our Great show. seeing you, man. I love it. <laughs> Are I we taking a break? Hey, We're taking a break. Awesome. 4PFT awesome. Live right after this. Say you smoke for drones. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.